Hi guys, I'm Ravi here. Today I'm working on Nissan X-Trail T31. Customer complaint is jerking the car while acceleration and the deceleration. That means when he start the drive, it start with the jerking and when he going to stop the car, that means when he push the brake pedal and slow down the car, uh, it is slowing down with the jerking. This problem has been around for a while and few shops tried to fix it and they have fired the part cannon, they have put injectors, ignition coil, new set of spark plugs, EGR, even they have changed the engine control module. But nothing happened, car is here right now, so I have already diagnosed the issue, so I am going to demonstrate it for you. So I have already hooked up the scan tool and got the health report. I just found that the PO420 for the catalytic converter, so customer told that he have had this code for a while. I believe that the ongoing faulty condition might have been affected for the uh, catalytic converter and trigger that PO420 fault code. So I will show you the fault codes here. Okay, here you can see that PO420 catalytic converter fault code and you can see uh, there are two other fault codes but don't worry about them because already I have removed several parts under the hood in order to my diagnostic test. That is why you are seeing those two fault codes. Anyway, I don't care about the catalytic converter fault code also. I pulled the live data stream and look for the uh, live data stream to, in order to find any clue regarding the issue that customer complain jerking while acceleration and the deceleration. Actually, I found nothing in the data stream until I uh, make a test run. So during our test run, I barely found that the AF alpha B1, which is uh, showing us the rich or lean condition, showed me that uh, little bit of lean condition while the acceleration and the deceleration. Actually, it was barely indicated that lean condition is going on while the acceleration and the deceleration. I'm sorry that I was unable to film the data stream. Anyway, uh, already I found the issue with that clue that I found it is going to a lean condition. So what I did is I made uh, another test for find vacuum leak because uh, during the acceleration and the deceleration, uh, showing me a lean condition mean they should have a vacuum leak okay next I throw a smoke test in order to find the vacuum leak so here you can see that my smoke machine and I have already uh, set up the smoke machine and uh, plug it into the uh, intake manifold from the PCV connection so you know that pressure the smoke into the intake manifold is the best way to find a vacuum leak so i have set up already here and let's see where is the vacuum leak i think you are going to be wonder by seeing where the smoke comes out okay turn on the smoke machine and let's pressure the intake manifold with the smoke and we'll see any leak detection going on around the intake manifold finally i found the one spot where that smoke comes out and it made me wonder because i have never seen such a vacuum leak from that location so let me show you where it is Okay, let me focus where the smoke comes out. Hope you know that especially in the Nissan cars have in their intake manifold name called spiral valve. Spiral valve mean the, that valve have a individual flaps in the each individual runner in the intake manifold. Those flaps are controlled by that spiral valve. Let me show you the spiral valve here. Uh, you can see here nearby the light. Uh, this one this one is the spiral valve so uh, you can see that uh, smoke is slowly coming out but i will let it to be pressurized and then we will be able to see a uh, good smoke flow through the leak actually this is the spiral valve actuator electrical socket do you see that from where the smoke comes out smoke comes out from in the electrical socket unbelievable spot i have never seen uh, smoke comes out from an electrical socket but actually there is a possibility to smoke comes out from this location because this is directly connected into the intake manifold i think smoke comes around the pins where located inside of this electrical socket because uh, the plastic around that electrical pins may have been melted due to the high heat generated by the valve motor of this valve actuator due to the high resistance or uh, uh, the heat generated over the time definitely this could be the problem because 
this viral valve actuator directly connected to the intake manifold so if there is a leak it will leak air into the intake manifold that cause to a vacuum leak uh, during the engine running you know that when the acceleration and the deceleration going on the vacuum pressure state in the intake manifold changed due to the throttle open and close so when high vacuum state in the intake manifold if there any leaky condition or leaky spot like this that outside air could comes into the intake manifold that could lead the car lead the air fuel mixture into a imbalance condition so confirm and i'm confident enough that this vacuum leak lead this car into a jerky condition while the acceleration and the deceleration definitely customer has to change the intake manifold or this spiral valve actuator in order to get rid of this jerky condition while the acceleration and the deceleration so hope you make sense that how to find a vacuum leak properly anyway when customer return to the hometown he has changed the spiral valve actuator and he has sent me this video he told and considered that the problem is fixed and no more jerking condition while the acceleration and the deceleration hope you got some ideas what you should check first when you have such kind of jerky condition when the acceleration and the deceleration so that is the vacuum leak thank you very much for watching this video stay subscribed with us for more diagnostic videos